hey y'all uh, welcome back or welcome i'm sorry if you can't see me but i'm actually sitting in the garage of the airport because i told you guys that the battery is as shit oh y'all can see me here i told y'all that the battery in my car is like messed up so i'm literally sitting in the garage making sure that the battery stays on and whatever else because we turned it off when we got here and in like 10 or 15 minutes the car would not start up again so that's where i am right now but um i wanted to just share something like i never share true vulnerable moments because to me i tend to feel like people don't give a fuck anyway <laughs> if i'm just being honest and because i have such a strong presence i think that people don't think my vulnerability is real like i think they think that i'm playing a victim i think they think that i'm having a weak moment i think they think all these things and probably because those are some of the things i think in my head right but there was um a situation that happened today and i'll just tell you guys real quick what happened so i was coming out of my house which we talk about all the time like that's why it's so crazy guys like i don't come outside and i'm noticing that in the instances that I do come outside, I'm always ran into, I'm, I always run into something, not because I'm looking for it, because trust me, if you guys knew how much I went through, I know my nails, right? <laughs> Let me focus. All right. If you guys knew how much I really went to, went through to come outside, you can't possibly think that I want my outside to be ruined or if not even ruined, just bothered by people's decisions. And listen, I know that I don't live on this planet by myself, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, I know that I don't live on this planet or walk in my state by myself. I know that, guys. But I'm starting to feel so alone because the, the seconds of thinking that I would give things, people are just not even doing. Like, there used to be a time when... You cared about thinking one extra second, just one extra second before you did something. And now it's just not even happening. So I came outside today because you guys know I had to drop my dad off. He's going back to New York. I wish I was going with him. Not really, but kind of. Yeah, kind of. All right. So I came outside and in my complex, they use blow. I, I guess they're called like, um, I don't know i call them blowers but like something you use to clean the lawn right because we live next to a lot of trees like a whole fucking forest and i get it like it's fall times the leaves are dead you have to clean them up you don't want people stepping on them falling or you just also for appearance wise you just don't want your grounds being completely like with rusted leaves i think that it's okay but i, I also get cleaning it right like i 1000 percent get cleaning and this is my second year living here so i know that they clean the um i know that they're gonna come around i don't know when i don't know when it's not on a proper schedule it's literally that they just come whenever they come like you could think one day they came on monday and you might say okay cool then. no child next week they're gonna come on thursday next week after that they're gonna come on sunday so there's no organized or yeah there's no organization and when they come you just know that you're gonna hear doo -doo -doo. that's all you know you just know that you're gonna hear that right so i was getting dressed and coming out as i wanted to show you guys my freaking outfit because it's so fucking cute Whew. but guys i had this whole video planned out for like a outside vlog because i know you guys are ready for it and i was ready for it this is my reason to go outside right so i was getting dressed or whatever i didn't hear any blowers also on top of that you only know where they are if they're like directly next to you. yes light like i'm loving this light thank you you only know where they are if they're directly next to you if they're not directly next to your unit you will not know like if they're on the other side on another building you won't hear them like it's loud but again you won't hear them until they're next to you boom so just my luck which if you guys hold on i'll give you another instance to why it just seems like when i come outside it's just like no like it's just that's just that's just how i feel so i came outside and of course just as sorry guys i hate when my nose rings are not proper just as i was coming outside um here they come now they were not like next to my door in front of my door 
he was literally which also doesn't make any sense now that i think back but he was literally blowing the leaves out of the like forest area which i never really seen him do that they normally just like blow it off of the sidewalk and things like that not necessarily go to the whole area and blow them all right guys be right back all right guys sorry that was my dad calling listen i've been sitting in this car for like two three hours but i've just not had the energy to record until right now so let me hurry up so i don't know why he was over there blowing the leaves out of that area but whatever i'm just thinking about that now so we're trying to get his attention to tell him that we need to walk okay cool he stops and there's some other guys on this side and they continue to blow until eventually like someone's like yo 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 people are walking all right boom got it so now everybody is on stop whatever whatever so now my dad's in a wheelchair guys not ashamed to say it just it never came up like what's the importance of saying he's in a wheelchair other than expressing some discomfort like from what people do to him or telling the story like i am right now so he um there's a guy who has a blow or whatever he stopped or whatever so now he sees my dad now this is the part that got me like oh my god are you serious think a little bit so when he sees my dad coming he proceeds to blow the blower guys he's blowing the leaves and the debris and everything directly into us and i'm like what like the kind gesture of wanting to still clean the walkway it does not pass me like that didn't go over my head as people like to say i got it what made absolutely no fucking sense to me is that he blew it directly in our direction why didn't he turn around put his back to us and blow the blower away from us so now i get into this place because i'm like wow I can't even accept his kind gesture because it was rooted in ignorance. And I know to some people it's like, well, it was a kind gesture. His intentions was, and I understand that. But my thing is also with intent needs to come common sense. And I think a lot of people have let that side go. I think a lot of people don't care about that side because it's like, oh, okay, well, my intentions were great. Yeah, but if the common sense behind it also gave us flatline, then your intent goes into the garbage can now because it just doesn't make sense so i'm like well that was fucking stupid not to him in my brain because remember y'all i'm trying to do better with being in people's face and telling them to their face that they stupid what i do now is either come to youtube <laughs> or i write in my journal or i do things like that to not just be like you know you're a fucking idiot that was a asshole move so they're standing there not him not his boys it's like eight people out there no one those are eight different brains and also remember we have a right and a left side of our brain so now you want to break that into two so two times eight is 16 so there were actually 16 parts of brain <laughs> standing out there and not nobody said bro you blowing it into them nobody said that so now because i am who i am i didn't say nothing i just talked to myself until i got in my car when i got in my car to my husband and to my father i expressed that that was dumb throughout the entire ride to the airport my husband is basically telling me that my care for people not making sense or doing things that make sense is going to give me a heart attack i'm not saying he's wrong i am not saying he's wrong but i'm trying to figure out why my care my common sense and Everything else that I put into being a human that's walking on this earth is being seen as a problem. It's more so now, guys, that we would rather tell people like me who have big hearts, who care, that we should just stop caring. That we should just be magoo. That we should just look at situations and be like, oh, yeah, that was dumb. Okay. How did we get here? I want to ask you guys a question. If you've seen your child or someone in your family doing a dumb move, do you speak up? Does that also depend on what age they are does that also depend on how close you are to them like are there certain requirements that would have you have to open up your mouth and tell whoever that what they did was not right so throughout the whole t ride now to the airport like we were just like going back and forth not nasty but both just trying to understand if you guys want to know he's an aquarius so if you understand that you understand that to him 
none of that is warranted but to me it all is i'm a scorpio which means that i care a lot and one of the things that hurts me is that people see me as this strong amazon woman which i'm not saying i'm not but because of that i'm not supposed to have any feelings because of that my heart is supposed to be cold hard and black because of that i am always doing too much and it hurts because people are around me for those reasons people love to be around me because i um because i care because i'm loyal because i'm always like i got your fucking back you get what i'm saying so all right guys so i am back to close out yesterday's video well yeah i'm back to close out yesterday's video because my phone was dying you guys seen me in that garage and when I got home, I was just honestly exhausted. I just wanted to get in bed and just wait for today to start over. So I'm going to fin finish up where I was yesterday. If you see a little black thing walking around, that's Papa. We'll see if he wants to get on screen. And I told you guys I'm going to work on being in my more authentic form because whatever. So I'm freezing. If you see me go like this, I just wanted to show you guys that I am dressed, but I'm also freezing at the same time. Anyway, let's go ahead and finish up the video. So, like I said yesterday, it hurts because people want me because I'm loyal. People want me because I'm a soldier. People want me because I'm solid. And I would like to think that people want me because I'm all around just a dope ass person. But what happens is once I feel like people get used to me and realize that I'm, I'm going to stay consistent in being solid, then that's when they start not caring. That's when they start just taking advantage of me. That's just when it starts to become, hey, Papa, no one asked you, come. I told you he would come. Um, That's just when they like really just start to, I don't know, I guess show their ass or not be concerned about um making sure that I feel okay or what have you I don't know but I just know that it really sucks that you show somebody your true character form and after a while they just don't really care anymore um so yeah that's what I was gonna say yesterday about loy loyalty and things like that um there's been so many instances where I have stopped talking to friends I've cut off family members and things like that because People want me until I start to take the blinders, the filters, and the shades off their eyes. I think a lot of people have gotten comfortable with living surface so that they don't ever have to feel anything that is more in-depth. But I'm not a surface gal. I don't like to... I'm not on a surface. I want to go deep because in the depth is where you're going to find out the truth. In the depth is where you're going to be able to move forward. Nothing moves forward this right here. Nothing moves forward. So I think that we as humans are so used to people being idiots that when you come around someone like me, who I'm not saying I'm not used to it, but I'm going to call a spade a spade. I'm going to call it out. I think that makes people uncomfortable. And instead of them saying to themselves, you know, Tessie, I have been living over here and it's okay over here you know i know that there are things that can be different but it's okay over here instead they make me feel like the problem i don't know how we've gotten to this place that we just accept ignorance as the norm i don't know how we got to this place where it's just okay to let people be assholes and it's not about you thinking that you can change them that's that's not what it's about i just feel like us as a human race we're starting to be depleted depleted and depleted it's almost a wonder that we're not extinct, but I think a lot of us are mentally extinct. And it just, it's not a good feeling to see that people would rather tell you to shut up, leave things alone, or go about it without acting like it's not happening, rather than just literally being honest and saying, I just, I just choose to not, you know, worry about that. Or I choose, which is your right, which is your right. But I'm not appreciate I'm not appreciating the fact that most people try to turn it on me like it's a Tessie problem. It's not a Tessie problem. We're living in a fucked up world. And I, that's not to say that things in this world are not beautiful. That's not to say that there are great things that don't come. But the more that we allow humans to get away with their fuckery, the more we're going to continue to suffer. 
I ask you to turn on the news. If you don't want to turn on the news, go on Twitter. If you don't want to go on Twitter, go on Facebook. And just see a lot of the things that are becoming the norm now for us to live. I think it's messed up that we're telling people with good hearts, with positive energy, with happy auras to basically shut the fuck up and sit in a box. And then no one understands why we're not out there to shine. We're not out there to make people happy. We're not out there to show that the world can be a much more beautiful place because you guys are telling us to shut the fuck up. That's that's what it is. You guys are telling us to shut the fuck up to continue the narrative of the dumbass shit that goes on. I'm not saying for you to go out and check nobody. If that's not what's in your heart, don't do it. But what I am saying is do not tell a person who wants to call out ignorance to let it go because it's more beneficial for others. How do you think we got to where we are? Do you guys know at one point there were literally like no driving laws? You know what happened? Niggas kept driving and crashing into people. <laughs> and now we actually have driving laws and motherfuckers still don't know how to drive. So what I'm saying is you can continue to think that things will never affect you because it does not have your name written on it or because you don't think it's in your presence. But I promise you, every dumb decision that someone else is make, someone else makes, we as a whole will be affected by it. And you could think not, but I'm telling you that it's true. Also on top of that, um, it's just, I don't know guys, it's like, I wish I would have finished the video, video yesterday, but my phone was dying. So like, I'm trying to bring back thoughts and they're coming back, but you know, um, nothing is as authentic as it is. No matter how many times you rehearse it, it's always better when it comes out first and foremost. Right. But it's just, I don't know. People really don't care about principle. People aren't really worried about anybody but themselves. And then the most selfish people feel like they're a victim. And that's the part that kills me. Like, you don't care about anybody else. How are you a victim? You're not a victim. You're selfish. And I'm not saying that it's not okay to be selfish. But I'm saying that you can't be selfish and a victim. They don't, they don't go hand in hand. They are a contradiction. They don't really work. But so many people have gotten away with being nasty and then manipulating people into thinking, no, it's you. It's you that's making us like this. No, my dear, it's you. It is you. I would no. Y'all see this look right here? You know what that no, means. Anyone. This is Papa, this filming is put you and back recording inside. while Stay parenting. Come on. Yes, that cute little something that you just Come seen on. five to ten minutes ago that looks so darling. This is him. In his true life form. This is Smokey, guys. So, introducing you to my wonderful, wonderful, wonderful son. All right. I'll be back soon, guys. So, yeah. um, I forgot what I was saying, but anyways... I'm trying to get it back. But we just are now a nation of not care. We're definitely a nation of I'm going to do what I want. But then at the end of the day, I'm going to say that karma is not to come back and slap me in my face. Um, I really wish I could remember exactly what I was saying yesterday, y'all. But I can't. I'll give you two more examples and then I'll just go ahead and close out the video. Because I can't really remember anything else. I hate when this happens. But... Call it space brain, call it what you want. So another instance that is just like, why every time I go outside, it's a problem. There was some power washing that I guess the complex wanted to get done. Um, they had sent out an email to tell us that they were going to do it. Child, another week passed, they ain't do it. Third week passed, they ain't do it. They're not sending out new correspondence either. They sent it out one time and then that was it. So I, three weeks after the original date, had to go outside and do some things. Y'all, y'all know that at that exact moment, the man was there to power wash the area around my door with bleach and water. This is why I'm saying that the unorganized way that they run this complex is annoying. It's annoying because if you would tell people and keep people up to date on what needs to happen, then, people's can make then people can make provisions to be out of the way. You can't tell me that you're going to power wash the complex and three weeks later it happens. 
that doesn't make any sense to me. Send some, send some correspondence out. Let me know that it hasn't happened, but you still plan on it happening. Don't just pop up and let it happen. So now on this day, I have my appointment. I have to go outside and do some things. I have to now walk out of my house into a puddle of bleach and water. These people can't afford my clothes and they're not going to pay to buy them over when they're messed up. But that's just another instance of how is it that I stay in my house every fucking day and then one day when I go outside, it's a problem. Last thing I'll tell you about people just not respecting general principle is um, I have neighbors that live upstairs. Obviously, everybody does until you get your own house, right? Now, to some people, this is not a big deal. But to me, I watch people's actions and what your actions tell me about you is all I need to know. So we do not have assigned parking spots in our complex and it is what it is. However, what I do know is wherever a person has been parking their car, more than likely that's the spot that they like to keep. I'll just put it like that. So I had been living here, I would say eight months to almost a year before the new people moved in upstairs. And I'm pretty sure that he seen that people were parked. But in his way, he just decided to say, well, when I see one car move, and the reason why I'm saying one car, guys, is because I don't see him take any other spots to any other body. Um, but I see that whenever my car is moved, he jumps in the spot. And I'm thinking to myself, I understand that there are no scheduled or uh, parking. I also understand that there are no markings. But what I do understand is when you see something already happening, what makes you think in your brain that it's okay to do what you want? Just like when I moved here, there were people that were already parking in their spots. I didn't just instantly go in their spot and take it because I read the room. <laughs> I read the room and I understood why would I make these people uncomfortable when they are already been here and I'm the newbie. But you see what I'm saying? There's not people that think like me. People don't care. So I actually had a conversation. And there it goes again. It's happening again. Come out. I don't know what this is. This boy is not even two years old yet. He is literally eight months old. I don't understand. Like, no matter how many times you chase him, no matter how, how many times you try to, like, lightly tap him, tap him or whatever, this boy does not get it. I'm back, y'all. Don't go in here. So, yes, now, um, right. So, listen, I'm aware that you have the right to do what you want, but like I just said, read the room. I completely believe in my soul. If it was on the other foot, he would definitely have a problem with it, and he probably would have said something about it. But I'm in a different space where I'm trying not to correct people on what they feel is right. I know it's hard. It's really hard. But at the end of the day, I'm really just tired of being around people that don't think. That's it. We have allowed our human race to become more and more ignorant. With each device, we lose brain cells. People think it's drugs. I'm not saying it's not. But the amount of devices that we have now that think for us has definitely helped us. No, has definitely hindered us. Yes, has definitely hindered us. So when I seen that this was happening, I had a conversation with my husband. You guys know that he's always on the opposing side of me. So I wasn't, I wasn't shocked that he would look at it and say, well, it's not a big deal. Listen, the parking spot is not a big deal. I completely don't care about walking away, I'm walking from the other side. One day when I go outside, I'll show you guys the two steps <laughs> that changes you from being parked next to the building to being parked next to the forest. It's literally two steps. But I guess for him, it's two steps too many, right? So I knew that he would just, oh, whatever, babe. It's not that. I knew that he would do that. I knew he would. But that's, again, what I'm saying. It's not about surface. It's not about surface. People have let people get away with minor instances for so long. And then what happens is they come piled up as a big thing and then all of a sudden only when it's a humongous size can people actually pay attention to it i don't wait for that i'm a preventive girl i do not like to wait i do not like to overdo i'm a preventive girl so if i see it and it's going to look like it's going to happen if i can prevent it i will um 
I've watched this this dude do this, you know. I've seen that when we are parked, you know, he just parks somewhere else. Um, I've also watched that as soon as our car leaves that he parks in there. The parking spot is to me, it doesn't matter. It's the principle behind it. It's the principle behind it because as I said, when I moved here, there were neighbors that were parking in other spots. I didn't I didn't take their spots because I knew that they were used to parking there. So I just found me a spot somewhere else. And that's really what bothers me about the whole thing. Um, it's just that you don't care that you're being an inconvenience to somebody else. Like I told you guys the other day, my yesterday, my guy, my dad is in a wheelchair. So it was more beneficial for him to get out on that side so that he can just, you know, come to the, and, and go into the house. But people don't care about that. Um, there was also a lady in the complex that I began to talk to and she was pregnant. So naturally as a pregnant woman, you need to park in a spot that's as close to your house as you can. And guys, when I say pregnant, I'm talking about some seven, eight months, like sis was about to pop. And at one point, everybody kept taking all the first spots, which on top of that, ain't nothing wrong with these people. They just lazy. That's another part of it. If it was that they were an ailment or something wrong, then I would say whatever. But it's literally just laziness. These people want to take the if they could take a spot that was parked in their house, they would. That's how lazy they are. I don't know what the scariness is with walking. It could actually help your heart. It could actually help your lungs. It could actually help you lose a few pounds. But to them, walking is like a plague. Don't walk because your leg might break. And coming from where I'm coming from, walking is our life source. Like you, even when you get off the train, you need to walk a few more blocks. Even when you get out the cab, you might need to walk to the corner. So it's just like, I don't really know. But that's just how I feel. And um, I'm just closing out to tell you guys that that's where I'm going to end it. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.